You are the word of life. 
I, I'm reminded of the verse that says that his hand is not too short to save. And I see, I see our prayers, and I see as we are co-laboring with him, that his hand is going out with our prayers, and it's touching all of these situations, and it's just touching and touching and touching, and we know he is the word of life, and as we send out his word, life is coming. Life is coming in these dead situations, so, so don't grow weary of praying in tongues. Don't grow weary of asking the Lord for the same thing because he's reaching out to these family members. He's reaching out in these circumstances. So Lord, we say, yes, come. Yes, come. You are the word of life. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus, you are the light that shines in the darkness. We declare who you are in these circumstances. We won't grow weary of asking you and seeking you and seeking your will. You are the one that's faithful, Jesus. We look to you, Jesus. We look to you. for your situation and you need the Lord to speak into it will you raise your hand and stand up and if there's someone around you we we just want to activate you will you go to them and speak what the Lord is saying will you go and speak you go and speak truth to them to those that have their hands raised yeah ask the Lord Holy Spirit what are you saying what are you saying Holy Spirit what are you saying I also yeah. felt like while Hannah was saying that, that the Lord was speaking words over people that over people that they were hearing, and I felt like it was just our power to agree and to speak that out. And so, if you feel like God spoke a word to you that maybe feels crazy, or you're like that could be too good to be true, I would I would challenge you to partner with somebody close to you and to just declare that and to let them agree with you. Because I feel like sometimes what we do is we come into this space and the Lord speaks and he moves. And then it's like that seed planted and we walk out and the enemy tries to snatch it up and it'd be like, he didn't say that. He didn't, that. he didn't do that. And so right now I just declare to anyone online who's I'm agreeing with you right now. If the Lord spoke to you right now. I say yes and amen over that word, over that promise. That no plan of the enemy to steal, kill, or destroy that promise can come to pass. We say yes. And it's going to go to fruition and fruit. And so what he said over you is good. All his promises are yes and amen. So we speak out and we agree with the voice of the Father. We know your voice. We're your sheep. And we know the voice of the shepherd. So we agree with that voice. We follow that voice. And where we've tried to be like small in our thinking or small in our agreeing, we boldly open up and declare the open heaven over our life. Anything is possible because of who our Father is. Amen? So if that's you, speak it out. Hear what he said and then declare it with your own mouth and agree. Because there's power in our agreement. Amen. Yeah, and if you're praying for these people, then raise your hand. Just keep praying. I feel like the Lord is bringing a fresh word, a word that makes, that makes something come alive. So we speak life into these situations, Jesus. We speak life right now in these situations where we feel stuck, where we feel like there is no hope. You are the hope, Jesus. You are the breakthrough. In Jesus' name, your blood, your blood speaks a better word. You are not stuck. There is hope in Jesus' name. There is hope in Jesus' name.
that has been contending for a restored relationship with your mother. Like that's burning on your heart. Yeah, come on down, we're gonna pray. Any, anyone who that applies to, just come on down. I really felt like the Lord is saying very specifically, he's gonna be the third strand, the third cord that's not easily broken. And I feel like there's a restoration that's about to happen that you've been contending for, that you've been praying for. Um, and the Lord is on it today. And he wants to strengthen that. He wants to strengthen that bond, that relationship. So if we could just get people to, to lay hands just on the, in the, in the Yeah, can we get some, um, just some girls with these girls? Like, Cammy and I are gonna come pray too, but just some, let's have a women, women praying for women right come now. On.
to put on your mothers, where there's been hard hearts and an unwillingness to reconcile, he's going to start to soften and to till the, the work in her heart to where it's going to be easier. Yeah, I just speak that over you guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As a mama, as a mama, I stand. 